Hi, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do exponential smoothing. Exponential smoothing is one of the important techniques of time series forecasting. In this method, we will assign more weights to the actual data and less weights to the forecaster data and vice versa depending on the forecast error. In order to calculate the smoothing, we are always given with the smoothing constant or the smoothing parameter. This is denoted as alpha. Let's see how to do this calculation. We are given with sixth year data and asked to calculate the seventh year data. To calculate this method, we need alpha constant, which will be always specified in the sum. When you are looking for stability, assign more weights to the actual demand. When you are looking for responsiveness, assign more weights to the forecaster demand. Let's move on the calculation. In order to do this particular calculation, we need formula. We have gotten two formula. Either you can use this formula or you can use the second formula. In the first formula, what we are doing is we are taking the forecaster demand of the previous year. T plus 1 is T denotes the time. Now, let's say when we have gotten sixth period, we need to calculate the demand for the seventh year. That's all. Equal to the demand of the forecaster demand of the sixth period plus alpha is 0 0.4, the demand of the sixth period plus forecaster demand of the sixth period. This is this is how we do this is how we work with the first formula i don't prefer this method i prefer to do the second method because this is simple now let's say we want to calculate the demand for the seventh period wherein we take alpha 0 0.4 into the actual demand of the sixth period plus 1 minus alpha into into the forecasted demand of the sixth period this is more convenient so I use this particular method. Now let's start the calculation. As I have told you, I will be using the second formula for the calculation. Alpha can always take a value between 0 to 1. For the first year, you are given with the demand, but there is no forecaster demand. Without having the previous year demand, it will not be possible. In this case, what you can do? Whatever is your actual demand, straight away you can post that as a forecaster demand. Starting from period 2 onwards, you can take this. For in this particular given sum, we are given with alpha 0 0.4 and 1 minus alpha is 1 minus 0 0.4 will give us 0 0.6. So alpha 0 0.4, 1 minus alpha is 0 0.6. Check into it. In the formula, we have got an alpha 0 0.4. Actual demand of the previous year, 310 plus 1 minus alpha is 0 0.6 into the forecaster demand of the previous year, 310. 0 0.4 into 310 plus 0 0.6 into 310. You will have an answer of 310. You will have an answer of 310. Let's move on to the next calculation. The next calculation is 0 0.4 what is the demand of the previous year we are calculating it for the third year so the previous demand is 365 plus 1 minus alpha 0 0.6 into 310 is the previous forecaster data 0 0.4 into 365 0 0.6 into 310 gives us a value of 332 to calculate the demand for the next period, we are going to take in 0 0.4 into the actual demand is 395 and the forecasted demand is 332. So we would take 395, the actual demand, plus 1 minus alpha, which is 0 0.6, and the actual demand is 332. So which is 0 0.4 into 395 plus 0 0.6 into 332. This will give us 357.2. So we can round it off 357. Let's calculate the forecaster demand for the fifth year, which is 0 0.4 into the actual demand is 415 and the forecaster demand is 357. 415 
1 minus alpha is 0 0.6 into the forecasted demand 357. 0 0.4 into 415 plus 0 0.6 into 357. This will give us a value of 380.2. 380. Let's move on to the calculation for the 60 year forecasted demand. 0 0.4 into the previous year actual data is 450 and the forecasted is 380. So now this becomes 450 plus 1 minus alpha 0 0.6 into the previous year forecasted demand 380. 0 0.4 into 450 plus 0 0.6 into 380. This would give us 408. Let's calculate the demand for the last year. 0 0.4 is the alpha constant into the previous year demand is 465 plus 1 minus alpha which is 0 0.6 into the previous year forecasted demand which is 408 which is 0 0.4 into 465 plus 0 0.6 into 408. This would yield as a result of 431. This is how you will calculate the exponential smoothing method. You are going to keep the same exponential smoothing constant and again 1 minus alpha also is going to remind the same throughout. And in addition to this, you are going to take the actual demand and the forecaster demand of the previous period. Yes, this is extremely easy. I'm sure all of you were able to follow the concept. Thank you so much for joining me. This is Karpakam signing off. Good day.